The key is why you're putting the stents in in the first place. Stents are used to open up clogged arteries in the heart. When a patient is having a heart attack, stents are clearly lifesavers. But many stents are put in for chest pain, angina. That's what's now being questioned. I felt this constriction come right across. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but it came right across my chest and it was really tight. That heart attack led to six stents being placed in several of Truman Beatty's heart arteries, metal scaffolds that opened the artery and keep it open and saved his life. But a large proportion of stents are put in for another reason, to increase blood flow to the heart muscle and ease the painful chest cramps called angina. But now a major study in the journal The Lancet suggests that stents for what's called stable angina fail to ease chest pain. The stent alone for seeing a blockage of 78 to 90% is not enough. We need to do additional tests. Dr. Samin Sharma, the director of interventional cardiology at the Mount Sinai Health System, explained that in the British study, half the 200 volunteers actually had a sham procedure, a cardiac catheterization without a stent. But neither they nor the doctors evaluating them knew who got a stent and who didn't. Six weeks later, both groups of patients had equivalent pain scores and exercise tolerance. So did they need a stent? Benefit of the stent may come later, which could be six months, nine months, or one year. In other words, the placebo effect of thinking you got a stent may have helped for a while, but not long term. Dr. Sharma says that additional sophisticated blood flow tests in heart arteries are what could determine which angina patients would benefit from a stent. Now again, this study does not mean that all stents don't help. They definitely save lives during a heart attack. But if you have what's called stable angina, chest pain, then you should ask your doctor about having heart artery blood flow tests that will help tell if a stent will ease your pain. And the alternative is medication and a fair amount of medication. And some people don't like that or are unable to take the medicine. So it's, you know, it's not a clear cut choice here. Yep, important info. But excuse me here, life and death and they're putting placebos in people? Well, no, no, these are people with stable angina. So okay. this is not having the heart okay. attack. They're putting in a <laughs> sham procedure with people who they were getting already the, the standard of care, the medications. Mm -hmm. They were already getting that, and they did the sham. This was not in a heart attack situation. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, Thank, you, Thank you, Doc. Thank you for the clarification, yes. Dr. Max. <laughs>